So a few months ago I got a Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I've been playing a lot of GameCube and Wii games with it via Dolphin. But a pretty annoying issue I came across every time I used Dolphin was that the game's frame rate would get super choppy at random times, even while running at max frame rate. I'm not exactly sure if other phones have this same issue, but I found a super simple solution for this annoying problem. So to fix this issue, you're going to head over to your phone's file browser, go to internal storage, then locate the Dolphin emulator folder. I'm using the MMJ version of Dolphin, so I do have the same frame rate issue with the regular build as well. So in the Dolphin emulator folder, simply go to the cache folder next. So pretty much every time you boot a game up, it creates a file in this folder. So what you're going to do is simply delete the file. The first time you open this folder, there's going to be a bunch of these UID cache files. You can delete all of them, minus this game list file. This is the file that saves your game list and the locations of all the games for Dolphin. So just leave this file alone. So like I mentioned earlier, every time you open a game, it'll create a cache file. So you are going to have to delete them every time you play a game. Well, if you want this FPS issue fixed at least. It can get pretty annoying, so I highly recommend creating a shortcut of your cache folder, either to your home screen or to your file browser app if it supports it. So if you use Dolphin Emulator a lot like I do, it'll save you a bunch of time, trust me. So now that we did that, you can open Dolphin Emulator and the frame rate issue will be fixed. Just keep in mind that this doesn't increase performance at all, it just simply fixes this weird frame rate issue that Dolphin currently has. I have no idea why it even happens to be honest. Sometimes when you reopen Dolphin after deleting the cache file, you might get a black screen. To fix it, just reopen Dolphin and repeat the cache file process to fix it. I haven't seen too many people online talk about this super annoying problem with Dolphin. So I hope this video does help out a good number of Dolphin Android users. And hopefully this bug will be fixed in the future. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day. Bye.